So I'm uh, here today uh, just testing um, our new TRX Bronco. Um, the TRX um, refers to the um, actual action. So the TRX is our new 308 and 65 Creedmoor action. And right now it's sitting in a Bronco chassis. Um, the Bronco chassis is similar uh, to our uh, Bison chassis with a few key differences. One of the key differences is that it's um, actually lighter and a little bit sleeker. So we've took a, taken a lot of weight out of it. But I think the biggest difference is that we've made it uh, quite adaptable. So our actual fore ends from front all the way to back um, is a separate piece. So you can get a Bronco chassis um, with a seven inch fore end, a 10 inch fore end, and a 13 inch uh, fore end. Um, we also make these uh, with different inlets. And so if you have a Bronco chassis and multiple uh, types of actions that you might wanna put in it, uh, you're able to interchange that. And you'll see uh, over the next few months, we've got some interesting lowers uh, that will attach to people who've already bought Broncos um, so they can get uh, different lowers as well. This specific version that I'm shooting right now um, is the TRX Bronco Scout. And so the Scout uh, portion of that name just refers to the stock we have on it. So all the Scout versions all have uh, buffer tube style stocks. Uh, the TRX refers to the action. So the TRX is uh, gonna be chambered in 308 or 65 Creedmoor. Um, and then the Bronco refers to the chassis that it's sitting in and the Bronco does come in uh, variations of the chassis because again, because it is um, adaptable. One of the features just like the Bison and it's actually, they are interchangeable with the Bison are the uh, barrel shrouds. So the, um, the TRX Bison Scout with the 12 and a half inch barrel does come with the uh, barrel shroud on it. Uh, and if you get it with the 16 and a half inch barrel, um, it, it actually does not come with the shroud on it. Uh, some people like the shroud, some people do not. What's great about um, you know this uh, this chassis as well is that you know similar to the Bison that takes you know your uh, prohibited uh, AR-15 mags, or I should say the AR-15 mags that used to go into your prohibited guns. Um, this rifle does fire and feed from AR-10 mags. So if you've got um, you know prohibited 102s or any other uh, semi-auto of that uh, nature. Um, you can feed from <coughs> AR-10 mags. You'll, uh, you'll kind of um, notice that the action, um, although slightly similar to the uh, MRX action that we ha already have out, is actually quite a bit um, beefier. And we've just put a little bit of extra engineering in there to uh, make it a, a, a true, you know, sleek hunting rifle. Um, so three, uh, it has a, the bolt has three lugs, 60 degree throw. Um, we made the bolt handle a little bit uh, longer and beefier. Um, and again, it uh, affixes to um, a Remington 700, uh, any Remington 700 trigger. Certain uh, brands of Federal and Hornady, we've been getting sub MOA with, uh, with 12 and a half inch factory barrels. The TRX Broncos are, um, have already been shipped. Um, so they are available now in both uh, the 12 and a half inch uh, configuration and the uh, 16 and a half inch barrel configuration. Okay, so uh, now I'm behind the TRX uh, Bronco Scout with the 16 and a half inch barrel. So uh, a little more, uh, I guess, traditional looking without the uh, barrel shroud and a bit of a longer barrel, uh, but both the 12 and a half and the 16 and a half uh, both shoot um, guaranteed by us to one MOA. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll give her a go.
Okay, so uh, our first uh, group here was with uh, Cellular and Bellot shooting from 120 yards. That is uh, around one MOA there. Um, that was with the 12 and a half. And then I switched to Hornady and we went to the 16 and a half inch barrel. And that's, uh, that's us there. That might have been just uh, a little bit of a flyer there, but typically with, um, with the 16 and a half, I'm sub MOA from, um, from 100. And again, we're shooting from 120 here. And then I switched back to the Cellular and Bellot with the 16 and a half. And there's our uh, five rounds there. So that's sub MOA. Yeah, so the, the TRX um, actions, we've got them to with 308 so far. We've done most of our testing with 308, not 6.5 Creedmoor yet. But most commercial off-the-shelf ammo in 308 shoots extremely well. And we're going to have probably about 25 to 30 brands that will shoot sub-MOA.